Our Dave Faraday is live there now. And Dave, you've seen people come by just to take a look at what exactly happened. Yeah, Damani, all morning long we have seen people stopping here north of Polkville to take a look at the damage. If you look behind me, you can see some of those folks gathered around that where that fire started on Sunday. It was an old dance hall that was built back in the early 1940s. Take a look at some of this video that we got over the weekend. These are pictures of the a fire when it was burning. You can see what firefighters were up against when they arrived at the Brackett Cedar Park. Eyewitnesses describe hearing two loud explosions coming from the dance hall that was first built back in the 40s. Over the years, it had been used for wedding receptions and other venues in the northern part of Cleveland County. Uh, the owner tells me his family had smelled gas coming from the building over the holidays yesterday morning. Family members say Scott and Hilda Roscom had gone into the building looking for their cat, and that's when the fire started after the explosions. They tell me Hilda Roscom died in the fire. Her husband is being treated for burns at a hospital in Augusta, Georgia. We spoke with one man who went inside to try to get the couple out. He was laying on the floor between the kitchen and the back room. I managed to be able to get him and drag him out to where Tracy and them could pull him out to the outside, but I couldn't, by the time I got him out, there was smoke and flames. I couldn't, couldn't get back in to do anything else. And eyewitnesses are telling me that that fire spread very quickly. Just within the last 15 minutes, I did get a chance to talk with two firefighters from the Polkville area. They are telling me that it took more than four hours to bring this fire under control. When I asked them if they ha had any uh, idea of a possible cause, they're telling me right now the fire remains under investigation, Damani. Back to you. Story that continues to develop. Dave, thank you so much. Reporting to us live tonight in Cleveland County.